One problem that always drove me crazy at work was that if I ran the project locally on my laptop, then I won't be able to use basically any other application. My laptop would also spin all of its fans and I would feel like I am at an airport because it would produce basically airplane noises. Today, I'm going to show you that there is a solution to this problem. And the solution is to have a virtual machine in the cloud and connect from your VS Code to it to do development. So first thing we want to do is find the extension. And the extension is called remote-ssh. And we can either install it here, or alternatively, if you want to take fewer steps, you can click on this green square, and then we select SSH. And now it's going to install the necessary extension by itself. Well, obviously it's going to ask you to set up a new SSH host. So I'm going to do it on the, uh, with the example of how to connect to an EC2 instance. So we click add SSH host, and then we go to our AWS account, and then we basically need to find how to connect to it. So if you go to your instance, then you can click connect and in your SSH client tab, you will see this SSH connection string basically. So you'll copy it from step four in this list and then go back to VS code. So put it here and then you select SSH configuration file to update. I'm just going to select this one and it says host added. So now we can either open config or connect to it. If you try to connect to it, we won't be able to yet, but let's try. It says permission denied, and that's because we didn't give it the private key to use to connect. So we can close remote, close this window. So now we can press command shift P and type SSH. And now we can select to open SSH configuration file, the one we were using. And here we need to add another entry. And that entry is an identity file. An identity file is the key and the value is the path to your key pair. And you should have your key pair if you've set up your EC2 instance or a virtual machine. And if you don't, well, then unfortunately, you probably have to set up a new one and make sure it gets saved somewhere. So now we click on this green greater than less than button again. and try to connect to host again. So we can either connect to host or connect the current window to host. And if you connect the current window, then it won't open any new windows. Otherwise it will open a new VS code in window. So we just say connect current window to host. We select the host and the permission is still denied. And why is that? So it looks like the problem was that we also need to specify the user. So we can go back to open SSH configuration file and add this user. And you may have a different user. The way to do that is to go back to AWS Management Console, click on your instance, click on connect, and then in the SSH client tab, you should see this connection string. And this first part before that sign is your username. So in this case, it's ec2-user. So now if we go back to VS Code, we can add the user here and then click on this greater or less than sign again and connect current window to host select the same host we've already tried and voila we are connected so you can open any folder so we can just open this one and obviously you may have a development folder on the virtual machine so you do your, your development there and this is it this is how it's done so see you in the next one